So Cardano exists due to the limitations of uh, the first generation blockchain Bitcoin and second generation blockchain like Ethereum. Uh, these two have limitations from a technical perspective, uh, for example, on Ethereum. Uh, and I have a lot of respect from the, for Ethereum. But there are some limitations in terms of uh, gas fees and transactions to become really, really expensive as soon as the network is congested. Uh, on Cardano, on the contrary, no matter how congested the network is, you know in advance how much you're going to pay. And it's always predictable and it's never going to change. And it's always going to be the same, which is about 17 uh, cents of AIDA. That's one. Two, um, the high assurance level of the code is written in Haskell, which is a high assurance code that's also used for critical um, critical missions, such as where and everywhere where you're in a life or death situation, such as rocket ships, internal system of the planes, um, internal systems of banks as well. Everywhere where you don't want to lose billions of dollars or lives, simply said, Haskell basically is an adequate language because it brings you some uh, a highest level of assurance in terms of uh, guarantees. So I thought this, I'm going to touch some word now, but there's never been any hacks on Canano in the seven years of existence. Hopefully it's going to continue like that. That's a bit uh, odd though, right? How come? Like every other blockchain is being hacked. Why is Cardano not being hacked? It, Why does Cardano have no problems? Why is it so perfect? It's, I mean, it's a good question. It's probably going to happen uh, one day, probably not because of uh, uh, design faults, but rather for a, uh, for a user, uh, for when it's a user, um, that's to blame because he, he gave left his private key, for example, uh, rendering around on his laptop. That happens everywhere. Right? You, can't see, you can't really blame the protocol for that. But yeah, you no know, ads, high level of assurance, uh, high level of guarantee as well, predictable fees, that's really cool. Also, the EUTXO transactional model, if you've heard about it, basically um, on Cardano in one transaction, and I'm gonna get a little bit technical, but I always it on mine. In one transaction, you can configure the transaction to have hundreds of different transactions inside it, within it, uh, and each of these hundreds of different transactions can have hundreds of different assets and be sent to hundreds of different addresses. And all of that in one transaction. To do the same on an EVM blockchain, you would need to send hundreds of different transactions to hundreds of different addresses. This is why Cardano is more optimized, and this is why we call it a third generation blockchain.